Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is an overview of the new drawing layout editor option, which is available in version 2017, Service Pack 3. What this new layout editor allows you to do is to visually control the layout in the drawing to ensure that you have the proper positioning and everything in relation to your drawing views. Before, what you would have to do is close the drawing, open and edit some dialog boxes, and then reopen the drawing to see if the proper changes took place. And if not, you would have to close the drawing, edit those dialog boxes again, and then reopen your drawing. And now we can do that all directly within the drawing. So what I can do is I can come up here to my file menu, down to editor, and then click on the layout editor, or I could simply launch it from the right click menu. And what I'll be able to see over here is the ability to toggle on or off my hidden tables. I can toggle on or off my table names. I have the ability to see all the available tables that I have access to. And then I can see the current tables that are currently applied to the drawing. So what I'm going to do is use this new functionality to change this vertical title block layout here on this drawing to be horizontal. So as I click on a template, I can see that I can change the scale, I can adjust the rotation, and I can also do this directly from the right click menu. So I'm just gonna right click and say rotate clockwise, and then I can simply right click, use move, and use my snaps to be able to position this where I want it to be. So I'm just gonna do that for all of these over here. So I'll just grab that corner and anchor it down here, and then I'll do the same thing for this prelim stamp template here and I'll just anchor that to the center there and then real quickly I can do the same over here for the revisions and I can click and move this and position it exactly where I need it to be so very easily I can just see exactly what I'm gonna get here within my drawing without ever having to leave the drawing if I want to add in new tables I can certainly do that I can choose from the list over here on the right and I can also come in and I can search so I'll just type in some key fields here and then I can just choose the new table that I want to add. As soon as I click it, I'll see these new crosshairs and then I can click where I want it to be positioned. For example, here's a different type of title block that I could choose to use on my drawing. So I can easily see it and compare it with the ones that I currently have in my drawing. And then if I don't want to use it or if I want to remove any other table that's currently in my drawing layout, I can just simply right click, hit delete, and then it'll be removed here from the drawing. Once I have the layout that I want, I have a couple options here. I can come up to Save As, and I can save this as a new layout with a brand new name, or I can override any current layout that I'm currently using. So what I'll do is I'll just save this as a new name. Let's just go ahead and call this Example 1, and I'll click on Save. That will be available now if I want to use that on any other drawing. One other thing that I can do before we close this drawing is if I hide the tables and the table names, then I can easily see that I'm missing a line here within this uh, particular template. So if I want to edit that, I can simply just right click and edit template in template editor. That will go ahead and launch the template editor. And then I can just add in an additional line down here at the bottom. So I'll just copy this line here, click on paste. And then once I have that line in, then I can just simply just click and drag it into the position that I want. I'll just snap it down there and click on save. So I'll minimize this and then come back to my drawing. So now that I have this uh, new example one saved, I can just close the layout editor. If I wanna reopen this drawing, then I can verify that the change took place uh, on the template that I just modified. So now here I can see this is that extra line. And now what I can do is I can go to a new drawing and pull this in. So what I'll do is just open up this E2 and then you can see the current layout that's applied to this drawing. And then using just the normal way within Tecla, I can open up the drawing settings, click on layout, and then I'll load in the engineering settings here. And then now I have access to this new example one and I can click modify. And now I can see that new layout being used on this drawing. So one other thing that I'll show you here, if we go take a look, this is available for general arrangement drawings, part drawings, and assembly drawings, and cast unit drawings on the concrete or rebar side. Let's just open up this column drawing here. And the same options here, if I wanna come in and edit the, the layout of this drawing, I can just open the layout editor. If I show on these table names and these hidden tables, I can see the ones that are currently applied to this drawing. And I can also come in and add additional information. So not necessarily just tables, but I can also add in DWG or DXF. So if I search in here for DXF, then this will open up. 
and now what I can do is just click on this and browse to one of these that I want to show or include on my drawing and then I can just come in and position this here so this is coming in a little larger than I want so I'm just gonna select this and adjust the scale so let's just set this to 0.3 and then I can also come in and move this into the proper location. So let's just move this up here. So this could be an example of me just wanting to include this DWG on all of my drawings without me having to go into each drawing one by one and updating it. So what I can do is just click on Save As, and instead of creating a new layout name, I'm gonna override the current layout so that all my drawings that are using this layout, this new DXF or DWG will be available and visible on those. So I'll just go ahead and click on Save. Then I can save and close this drawing. And then here in my drawing list, I'll just open up a new column drawing. And now I can see that this new DWG or DXF file has instantly been added onto my drawing. So now they can easily see uh, the standard splice connection, for example, uh, that I wanted to place here on my column drawings. So the new drawing layout editor, it's a very easy visual way of what you see is what you get to be able to position everything that you need to create the proper drawing layouts. As mentioned, this is available in version 2017, Service Pack 3. We'd invite you to try it out. Send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.